So I'm just going to be riffing. Um, yeah, I've been flowing a lot lately, just really realizing the importance of flowing. Um, for me, for humanity, the way that life is wanting to flow through us, like this, this word, this peace, this experience of flow through all the ways that it manifests through humanity, through nature, through all of life, whether it's like in the human expression for me personally, freestyle rapping or uh, singing or you know, drumming or writing, whatever the stream of consciousness is, um, one of those gifts. Um, yeah, there's, there's all these different ways that, that life can be communicated um, to unveil more and more of what is actually here, what is actually within us all, wanting to be expressed beyond... Uh, beyond wanting to be expressed like each moment is a completely new moment in each moment the universe is expanding through us in each moment um, we are being and, and as humanity right now we are being like stretched and broken down broken open really to allow more of life to flow through us um, yeah so there's like so much more to explore always within what a human is. What is a human? And as soon as we think we know who we are or what humanity is, um, we lose it because what's created all of this suffering and all of these games of separation has been this attempt, this desire to define ourselves in order to find some sense of safety within a world deemed unsafe, within a world deemed to be separate, therefore a threat to ourselves. So I'm just totally freestyle. I don't even, I didn't even know what I was going to talk about. Um, but this is a vulnerability that's for me is coming on live and, and uh, speaking. So yeah, there's a part of me that's like, oh my God, all the humans. And there's a part that can get tripped up in this idea that there's other humans watching me, whoever I think I am, whatever identity I want to protect. And there's also a deeper, like really humble heart and soul that just wants to love and serve. And then there's also a part that just wants to play and just like share um, what's exciting, what feels alive without being too worried about what's like the right thing to do in order to have people like me or what's the right thing to do in order to be of service. Um, so yeah, all these different dimensions, all these different, um, yeah, so just this question of uh, James, yeah, just this question of what is a human? What is a question? <laughs> yeah, just coming on here and talking without any idea what I'm going to talk about. But I was just walking tonight. Um, the idea came up to do a Facebook Live. Be my flow. Oh my God. Woo! <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Mm. Yeah. The vulnerability of being in flow and losing losing a sense of uh, of perfectionism yeah all the questions all the questions that we have of what is the right way to flow so the flow is found somewhere in between this and that or this and that it's the thing that weaves all the things together <laughs> I love you guys so much, so, so much. Yeah, so here we are in the flow, 
and um, there's all these places to go and the flow always takes us exactly where we need to go it always like there's no fucking up in life so even if it's not perfect now that's okay because it'll never be perfect and so as I speak this I speak to the one in me that wants to be perfect in my expression or in where I'm coming from um, and as I do this luckily I've began to trust this flow that comes from saying fuck it and accepting however the expression of the human wants to happen in any moment and accepting and learning through that that I can go into this little thing here and then I can go into this big, deep, heavy thing here. And, and along the way, it's like it can constantly branches out and unveils like more and more. And sometimes we can get really comfortable with just one of them. Like some, I find deep comfort sometimes in being this like playful, young, youthful, fiery, foolish spirit. That's one powerful archetypal expression of me. And then... I also can find myself in places of deep, like, I'm just gonna embody or feel into it real quick. I don't wanna go there right now, so I'm just listening to the flow, but there's a deep, like, masculine, like, serious, like, down to business. And life is always calling from us in different parts of us. Um, and it's always challenging where we think that we know the right way to be, when we think we figured it out. That's when life comes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, sometimes it devastates us. And sometimes it's a really pleasant, beautiful surprise. Either way, anyway, we're always held by the flow, always held by the flow. No matter where we find ourselves in, the big fucking secret, the big revelation is no matter where we go and where we find ourselves in, there we still are, there it still is, life holding us. So that completely psh, obliterates any idea of like, this is safe, this is good, this is the right way to be, and this is wrong. I should not be this. Life should not be this. This is so like life, ladies and gentlemen, I have a big announcement to make. <laughs> life holds everything. Everything is life. So everything is held by the flow. And um, so everything is welcome. Everything is welcome. And yeah, we are all so beautiful. All parts of us are so celebrated. There's so much more to go into and flow into. It's so vulnerable, it's so scary. I know, I know, I feel it. I feel it right now. <laughs> I feel it right now. And it's, and be, beyond that. Terrence McKenna quote, I love this one. I'm gonna share it because everyone should know it. I'm going to actually just read the whole thing because it's that good. I'll start it off though. Nature loves courage. Here it is. Nature loves courage. You make the commitment and nature will respond to that commitment by removing impossible obstacles. Dream the impossible dream, and the world will not grind you under. It will lift you up. This is the trick. This is what all those teachers and philosophers who really counted, who really touched the alchemical gold, this is what they understood. This is the shamanic dance in the waterfall. This is how magic is done. By hurling yourself into the abyss, and discovering it's a feather bed. So, yeah, 
Yeah, this is how the shamanic dance in the waterfall is done, Terence says. What comes to mind when I say that is, when he says that is, to me, speaking about flow, the shamanic dance in the waterfall is dancing in the waterfall because you're in the flow. The waterfall is the flow, is an expression of the flow, and it's the celebration of of oneness with nature, of ourselves truly as expressions for this this flow that we know best in the manifestation, in the archetypal manifestation of water, the water element. So yeah anyway there's so many places i could go this is a fun little experiment to see what wants to happen um and there's a part of me that just wants to go and and let it be because there's something that i feel takes me out of my flow there's that story of like i'm taken out of my flow when i feel the weight or the, the pressure of like other people potentially watching which is why it's probably really good and important that I do this anyway. Because I'll never be fucking perfect. And hopefully that's really, really, like, relieving for others to hear. Like, what if we all just realized that none of us are ever going to get it perfectly. What if you realized I was never going to be perfect? I realized you were never going to be perfect. I realized I was never going to be perfect. What that means is I realized I was never going to be perfect and that, that's okay because there's no such thing. You realized you were never going to be perfect and that's okay because there's no such thing. So we just really have to fucking go for it. Like we really just have to fucking go for it and just explore and just try it out, whatever it is. And sometimes it'll feel like that energy, like just fucking go for it, like the fire, the plunge into the fire. And sometimes it'll feel completely the opposite. And it's knowing that no matter where we go, no matter where the next edge is calling us into, that's still us. The only thing waiting for us there is ourself. <laughs> and that we will never be validated by a world for being perfect, for being perfect in whatever we're trying to do. We will never get the, like, we'll never, like, people can, along the way, they can be like, yeah, good job, that's, that's good, we like that. We validate that, but there comes a like point and then multiple points and multiple points where you realize like, oh, like a like, the, the, the thumbs up is just that, like, cool, our brains are entrained to release a dopamine hit when we, when we get that, and it never fucking gets to the core, like, I don't know. Someone let me know. Like, how many how many likes does it take to get to the center of a of a human soul? The world may never know. If you get that reference, shouts out. Um. So there's like, a, oh my god, beautiful. There's like that when we realize that um, <laughs> that we will never whatever expression whoever we want like that we will never <laughs> there will never be anything in the world that can contain us because we are the flow itself there can be a relief in that for the ego there for some parts of the ego there can be a deep uh you know the ego death of like of like, no, I need the validation. Like, I need to be in a box. To be insecure is to be taken by fear. 
and taken on an illusory journey that promises final redemption but can never deliver it. Boom. That feels and sounds correct as fuck. So yeah, promises final redemption. Yeah, exactly. So there's no final redemption because it's ever unfolding, ever going. And no matter what, like that thing that is always unfolding, like as you try to hold on to the rocks rushing down the river until you realize that you're the river. So within this greater flow, like I guess the, the point that's wanting to be made is to allow all these dimensions to be a part of it, to allow oneself to explore all the dimensions as part of it, like all the colors of the spectrum, um, because we are all made of that. We are all made of all things. And um, yeah, the, the, the earth, the nature, the nature metaphor is gonna be coming in real fucking handy like being able to pinpoint the balance of all the elements and all the expressions of nature, mountains, swamps, soil, clouds, skies, waterfalls, rainbows, lightning, fire, tornadoes, lavas, like these finding parts of ourselves that are reflected in the rocks and in the ants and in the jaguars and then the trees and like realizing how each expression within the earth reflects to us a certain aspect of ourself is going to come really in handy because we are literally expressions of this earth so it's a little bit deeper than a metaphor and yeah and so the flow the water is going to come really really freaking handy um, if we want to live like ah, if we want to feel if we want to feel and not just know and within that we have to access deeper silence and uh, and allow new ways of speaking and new ways of sounding and new ways of moving yeah biomimicry exactly like we're 80 percent water so it's going to be really helpful to begin to begin to identify and allow like 80 percent of our expression to be like water and uh and so what i find really useful for that is like dance and song and freestyling and all these different things and the flow really weaves it all together but I also really need the fucking fire just to and like also need the deep, deep grounding and the deep silence and the deep stillness and the darkness and the bottom of the sea. And also like I need to fucking fly sometimes and like we all and I need to fucking sometimes explode like a volcano. And sometimes I need to be a, a mountain. Um, and hold it down. So it's getting used used to all these um, all these deeper dimensions and different dimensions as part of the flow and like not getting attached to one way of being because the the polarity game of universal consciousness is like there's always an opposite and the illusory the separation game the suffering game that humans have created is like I am this one but I'm not the opposite and really we are the, the space that holds both so it's a constant like weaving if you've seen like the caduceus of the snakes so yeah so this is me practicing speaking and flowing through through verbs and not just through freestyle rapping even though I really love to be in that when it happens, like magic in the future, we really get to have it 
to grab it. I mean to let loose and let go and let something deeper fucking flow. I mean in the future, there will be less talking and less mind and more silence that's always behind all the noise and all the violence. Because our deepest, truest voice comes from the silence. And this is something that I am consistently being reminded and sometimes choosing to forget because it's not time yet. Because <laughs> I'd rather cause some more ruckus and play around with different ways. And because deep in my center, I know it's all okay. It's all part of the way that the one consciousness plays through all the different dimensions, from the highest sun rays to the deepest vulnerability. And those hiding places I speak now to, all those beautiful, vibrant faces who have forgotten to see themselves clearly through the lens of true love dearly. Maybe the ones that have nearly thought that it would be better to die than to experience another yearly cycle through winter to summer. I'm here to remind you that through the darkness there was always some light bulb, some spark of this genius within each and every one of us and we need to learn to simply trust in what's happening through us, whether we're exploding or whether we think we will combust. Anyway, so sometimes I can get a little like, so that's like one way of flowing. <laughs> and it's like fun to play with words. Like that's one of my gifts. That's my medicine. That's my expression. That's the way that life flows through me. But we all have the way that life wants to flow through us and expression is really key and it doesn't have to sound or be the same for everyone but we are meant to be channels and we're meant to illuminate all the things that have been stuck within us this is a time of real vulnerability and transparency of like illuminating and uh i know i might be preaching to the choir here but i'm just fucking flowing um, and there's a lot of people that haven't yet been like shown or or like reflected the possibility or permission to know that it's fully safe, like their expression is welcome and is sacred and that there's so much uh, lightness and freedom and spaciousness. Um, on the other side of all those things that have been feeling stuck and been feeling heavy, um, that those things are actually sacred and to learn to like embrace all parts and really, really, if I can just be a little silly, to not take it too personally because there's just one flow and it's happening universally and it's like happening through all of us so you're not as small and victimized as cultural conditioning has taught you you could never be sold or bought there is no robot truth of one way to be the truth is that we are all family and Humanity is fucking beautiful. That's all I know. And there's so much work that is to be done as part of this fun flow through which the one unfolds through each and every one of you. So, yeah, I'm just here in, in service to to that michael bro <laughs> thank you for being here brother 
Uh, let me just see this question I kind of missed. Human design. Yeah, I was just actually thinking about that today. Like, there's different, um, there's different levels. Just thinking today, there's different manifestation levels, expressions, dimensions through which the one formlessness expresses. And there's the elements. And then there's things like human design. And uh, I think that could be really fucking dope and useful if it feels resonant. So, and, so yeah, it's really beautiful to learn our design in a sense of like what is our element as the unique expression that we are, what makes us unique, right? What alchemy of different elements are we, whether you're looking at it astrologically, through Chinese elements, through human design, through gene keys, through Enneagram all these systems which are reflections, which are tools, um, it can be really beautiful to learn more about how the universe particularly expresses through you. And there is also something beautiful about realizing that um, you are not defined by any one system or structure and just because there is a certain disposition that has to do with the very real uniqueness of the incarnational components of your body, your place of birth, your DNA, your lineage, your time of birth, you know, your lit whatever it is. There's real things that make us uniquely ourselves and then there's a disintegration of who we think we are and there's a constant evolution and emergence and metamorphosis and blossoming happen into higher and higher expressions because that's what the universe is always doing. It's always actually transmuting. It's always upcycling itself into new and new definitions. So as we will see systems evolve along with the times, and I think systems are really powerful, and I think it's important also to be able to tap into the space deeper than who we think we are as expressions of one thing in order to access more of our ineffability, more of our multifaceted natures. Um, but then also not to get lost there, which is something that as someone who identifies as, who has always felt like more of a stranger to this world, I've always felt like a bit of an alien to this world. There's something beautiful about having some kind of like model to be like, oh, like, yeah, I'm part of this thing. Like, this is who I am as a unique expression of human. So, so those, it's like knowing that these archetypes or these identities or these elements or these designs are, are, can be useful tools in discovering our authentic, unique expression of the one. And also always holding space for like, oh, who am I really, who am I now? Because it is always something brand new in every moment. And, uh, and that's what humanity is going through is like the, <laughs> you mean I'm not who I thought I was? And, uh, and in that, oh, I'm just super excited. I'll leave on this note. I'm super excited to see all that flows and is revealed uh, through each and every one of you <laughs> as expressions of this grand os, grandiose thing that is happening here, that we're all here together in. Uh, so. I love you. It's so good to be here with you all. Thank you. I trust you. Your celebration, your flow is so welcome and needed. And may you please give yourself time to prioritize making space for that flow and holding space for that flow in all the different ways it wants to flow. And um, yeah, speaking of flow, Shouts out to Mackenzie doing this work big time lately and causing 
massive ripples in the collective field through unleashing more of her flow, owning more of her flow, and all the ways, all ways, here we go. The divine apparently likes to flow through the human genome. It's like, whoa, the way all these divine codes unfold, it's time to know, it's time to yes, it's time to, to uh, blow off the stress through a exhale and through some magic to express <laughs> the incredible freaking love that we have bursting out our chest. Yes, so much love. Um, Shoo! All right, I gotta bow out and. Um, yeah, that was fun. I just like improvised, flowed some like speaking because that's a growth edge for me in my flow. I have so much to offer in this way of like sharing and 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 flowing, you know, flowing in a way that we're talking about flow as being all inclusive of all the dimensions. It's like the flow is that which holds all things. And so we're always learning new ways to express and to flow that really embraces and integrates all parts of us so there's like speaking and then there's freestyling there's singing there's dancing like as artists a lot of us are learning to move energy and let old constructs imbued in our personality be moved and be blessed and be served to the world through the illuminating light that washes away you know all that thought it was out of the flow like it's time to reclaim all these pieces of ourselves and like and bring them as part of a greater art piece. They're not, they're not these lonely, contracted, like piece, parts of us that our shadows are not that. They're not what they think they are. That's what they think they are. When we embrace them in the flow, when we feel through them, when we give them light and let them have their, like be, let that energy, that emotion be moved and be expressed and be given life to, it creates so much space for more and more magic and empathy and wisdom and bliss and joy to move through us because we're creating space for for more of the, so our flow is in service to the whole because um because our flow is the experience is is the the making space for more of the whole to flow through us as individuals so i honor each and every one of you doing the work to make it lighter, to make it easier for us all through feeling into the parts that don't feel that way and through illuminating them and giving yourself permission to flow and to enjoy and to be free in all the parts we were taught we had to hold back and we, that we couldn't be free, we couldn't flow. So it's like this fucking flow evolution happening through us all. It's almost 333, so I'm about to peace out with so much love. <laughs> Blessings. Um, yeah, I could keep talking, but it's just such a privilege to be able to be heard. And um, yeah, just really wanting to honor everyone for the work they're doing because I know that it affects me. Um, because I know that what I'm doing affects you. And um, so just keep doing it for yourself and know that it's for us all. And uh, this is me doing the same as like coming out of the box, even though it feels so enticing to be scared and to like turn this video off and judge myself throughout it and like to keep going anyway, because that's the work we're doing is flowing through. Sometimes it's bursting the fuck through. It's fucking breaking through. It's all part of the flow, right? It's all part of the flow, all the elements, all the things. It's bursting through those places, those limitations of why our expression is not good enough, why it's not, you know. And so much of our expression as a collective, it's true, comes from a, like, comes from, uh, is, is, is seeking to be heard, is seeking to be reflected and validated 
but we're not actually saying the real thing we're trying to say. So the practice of you really flowing and and this is the whole practice of, of what I'm talking about with this whole video to wrap it all up. It's the the finding the meeting of that edge, the meeting of that edge that naturally arises where it's like, oh if I well, like if I go deeper into this exploration right now, like I'm used to this, but what happens if I go here? Like, like what happens if I start to explore this deeper silence or like it's knowing it's all part of all part of this deepening that's happening or our expression and this is something I'm constantly being humbled to right it's one thing to know it's another thing to be the flow as Risa said earlier in this post she was like be your flow so anyway I'm here in service. Um, oh, hi Shanti. Thank you. Yeah, and that's part of the conversation is like, it feels so good to be affirmed and to know people are on here with me. And like, right, the abandonment issue can definitely play up of like, oh, what if people leaving, you know, as you watch the numbers but the the art of flow and of what life is needing like the only fucking thing that can liberate us the only thing that can really that really matters is the flowing anyway and realizing that flow is technology for self-realization and that authentic expression and authentic being is like the exploration of like what is actually wanting or needing to happen through me even if the world has taught me it might be this other thing or even if I don't know if people will see me or validate me here like what is that thing and when we have the humbleness and when we're exhausted enough of the bullshit and when we have the courage and the curiosity whatever the medicine is that moment that allows us to go a bit deeper into like what is actually real for me right now and to be moved through the terror the terror of like I have no fucking idea what's what's there. Like I don't know how to be there. Um, we bring back magic from the unknown. We empty ourselves as channels for that which is beyond any mental box that has veiled our experience of the multi-dimensional infinite universe that we are all a part of and expressions of. So. Um, yeah, this is what we're all doing. I'm here in service to that. I'm going to be launching a course on freeing the flow, which is a vulnerable step for me um, to come out. But this is this is uh, this is really really necessary and key, and has so many dimensions. This idea of flow. So thank you all for letting me express my flow, practice flowing in one way through the gift of these words, through through talking rather than all the other ways. And um, these gifts we give ourselves are the greatest ways to be in service to the world. Follow your light. Yeah, and like we need one another. So like there's something so beautiful about just reading that from Shanti and just being like, mm, thank you. Wow, that's supportive, that helps. That just reprogrammed my mind a little bit with positive narrative. And so that's what brought me on here is the prayer that maybe I can offer that to someone in the vulnerability of my, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but I feel like I have some medicine because I've cultivated these wisdoms these experiences that have helped me to feel a lot more free and i want to play here with y'all and i want to serve those who need it because uh each one of us is part of something and each one of us has a gift is a gift to me to the whole as well so thank you all for holding me in this flow and uh yeah don't stop flowing like it's so fucking important at this time to be able to be in our joy 
and in our magic and in our dance and in our song and like I feel myself for vulnerability sake like dumbing that down when I come on live because like it's like how do I be on a live like oh people are seeing me like how do I make sure I'm like doing everything right and you know speaking to the people who need it in the way they need it but there's honestly something that is really important that I want to stress which I haven't been embodying fully is like the flow the joy that goes beyond the words beyond the character, beyond the need to be anything for anyone. And uh, so yeah, let's cultivate that during this time um, where we have forgotten, a lot of us, how loved we are, how supported we are, how important it is for us to feel free and how much access we have to that and how much of a right, a, a divine right we have to know that in every single moment. It won't feel lit in the same way in every moment you know that's part of the experience that's normalizing that it's yeah it's fucking hard to remember it's like it's like un untapped into its repressed knowledge what it what it means to be in the flow what it means to like the the keys the affirmations that allow us to remember to to like take off these unconscious burdens of things that have suppressed our flow, that keep us constantly dumbing ourselves down, those are being illuminated right now through us. This is what we're doing from the inside out so that we can reflect that back from the outside in. So this is what I'm in service to. And uh, as we are all, but um, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can I get a hallelujah? Yeah, I appreciate you. That's that's a fun image to have in my head. <laughs> yeah, it feels really good to to be received. So uh, let's keep fucking doing it. And uh, maybe I'll just dip out right now, cause uh, or I could keep flowing. Hallelujah! Woo! -hoo! Wow. Um, can I get an amen? All right, yeah, so we're doing it, Earth Fam, Vibe, Squad, here we are, ooh, ooh. Earth, holy shit, holy fucking shit, here we are, uh, what do I need to say, what do I want to say, <laughs> it's such a privilege to be able to be, it's such a gift to be able to share myself on the screen and be received, um, Squad up. Like, what the fuck is this technology right now, honestly? How are we, how are we? So thank you all for holding space for me as I get comfortable with, <laughs> yes, with like showing up for this social media thing and uh, offering my piece to it. It feels so good to be met here. I have a story, like stories that keep me from fully showing up and expressing <laughs> on this device. You know, all the stories that get in the way of us fully showing up. Y'all are doing fucking amazing, by the way. Super inspired by Shanti, your dancing. Um, yeah, queen, queen of the... And Mackenzie, lately, your freestyles and your flow and your light language. If anyone's watching this, please peep their medicine out. So it's just so amazing. And thank you all for sharing what you do and uh, making it a little safer and more possible for other people to, to try to see what's possible, to find their own flow and to share it and to keep like bringing like, okay. And uh, just honoring the depths, the depths. Yeah, honoring like the process of evolutionary next level expression is constantly being in the edge of like, from my experience of letting all the ways we've been doing things continue to be like obliterated by like, oh fuck, I really don't know, okay, here we go. And like continuously diving into the mystery and being humbled by life 
in order to, and then like, and then we become more clear and open and we're like, whoa, how does life want to move through me now? Like, fuck, if that wasn't working, what does work? And then it's like really realizing it's all a play and we get to just play with whatever it is and like it's all part of it and it's all us. So we get to flow however the fuck feels good for us and continue to keep being in that devotional dance or song and use that as a prayer performance, which you two are magical expressions of as like knowing that us being in our flow in our embodiment and in that journey is medicine for others and uh, to to access more of that reflection of our inherent beauty through one another i'm going to leave on shanti's comment right now We are the ones we've been waiting for. It's inspiring to see others step into their own light and flow. Encouraging. Not alone. Tapped in. <laughs> yeah. We can't do it without each other. That just makes me feel so deeply. Hmm. That comment right there. Um that we're, we're not meant to do it alone because we're never alone. So here we fucking go. And uh, I'm gonna bow out and let y'all keep flowing in your magical ways. And, uh, and here we are, we're not alone. So thank you all for reminding me I'm not alone. And may I be that reminder for us all as we continue to go deeper into the exploration of who we are in our aloneness in some ways, like in, like, oh, it's just me, like, whoa, like, where have I been diluting myself due to the belief that I had to accommodate myself to something else, to some external power or force? It's like, oh, it's just me, like, what is my authentic expression? What is my authentic, fuck yes, if I'm just alone, like if this is all my, my playground. And uh, as we go deeper into that, we discover, yeah, we discover that we're not alone and that there's other people out here supporting us that really want the best for us. So may you always feel that I am here for you in that way. I'm out. Love, so much love to Shanti and uh, Mackenzie. It's such a vulnerable dance, yo. So, uh, blessings. Hmm. I'm actually going to stay here for another few moments to see if anything else wants to come through. I think just a lot of love wants to come through, like endlessly, like <laughs> um. <laughs> And yeah, the knowing that it's it's in all things. It's 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 like in the depth of it too. And uh Yeah, it's all of it, so, anyway, blessings, love, and uh, thank you all so much for being here in my vulnerable exploration of like bringing more authentic, more of my authentic voice out through the places that, like, because I've dissociated a lot through my life, and I think we all do this to different degrees. It's a loose definition, the way I'm holding the idea of dissociation. But I'm constantly just like feeling into like, oh, wow. I could be more present. I could be more connected. I could trust myself more. And um, 
so just I'm grateful for the practices that keep me that allow me to like reel my soul back in and like be like no it's safe it's okay for you to like flow and like share like and uh, so I can learn to be even more present with the world and with humanity and with you all and like let myself be seen more and help all of us do the same um, with that being said I'm gonna dip out <laughs> because I'm just talking and talking but uh yeah hopefully these talks resonated with some of y'all it was a good experiment for me and I love you all so fucking much it's redonkulous yes yes so fucking excited for all the shit coming through all of you for this whole new earth we're co-creating and um I'm so here for it. Hit me up for that online course about freeing the flow if you guys resonate.